One takes the lead, the other one takes it back, then he takes it back again. There's a crash! There's a crash! The delight, the celebration and the joy for Navneet Kumar. Final lap, <laughs> the business end of a race. Ani Sethi has had a crash. And it is and Navneet Kumar, Kumar who takes, takes the checkered check flag. flag. Put your money guys, on your riders. Race 6, it's on. The kind of braking that you will require on public roads and city streets is very different from the kind of braking that is uh, going on in a racetrack. So when you build a bike and you're tuning and finalizing the configuration of brake setup, it's, it's made keeping in mind that the riders are going to use them on public streets. When you use the same motorcycle on a racetrack, it's not going to meet those requirements on the racetrack. The brakes are great on the Continental GT650 for the roads, but when you bring the GTR650 and you want to race it on a racetrack, the brakes have a totally different requirement. These guys are going full pelt, they are whacking it open, they are literally almost redlining on the sixth gear at the end of the start finish straight. The levels of force that are being used on the brakes is insane. They are doing a 10 lap race. They are doing hard braking multiple times in every lap. So there is obviously going to be brake fade on a stock brake setup. With our experience of racing, we know what setup they want. So we cater to that. We went back to Bybray, who are our OEM suppliers, came up with the solution that we would use insulated pistons in the calipers. So the insulated piston prevents the heat from transferring to the brake fluid and that prevents the brakes from fading over repeated hard use, you know. The second thing was they also gave us sintered brake pads, you know, it's got better stopping power and again it's good for racetrack usage. For city streets, a rider might feel like it's very sudden, but in a racetrack, it's perfect. That's what you need. On a racetrack, braking is an art. And the art of outbreaking your opponent is one of the most desirable skill sets a racer wants to possess. All five races of the Continental GT have had the racers talk to us on their strategy. Today, however, was different. Race 6? Yeah. Anything to say? We'll see about the next race. I'll speak after the next race. That's the race, bro? Yeah, perfect, perfect. It shows, shows whatever you want to say, it shows that. They ain't ready for you. They ain't ready for you. We're heading into the Jackie Tire Presents Royal Enfield Continental GT Cup. They've decided to start the race early once again. And the ever-growing fear of it raining persists as we see the riders have lined up. Well, put your money, guys, on your riders. Race six, it's on. It's on. Off they go. So they started at P4 and he's very quickly gone on to take the race lead. But oh, there has been a fall there. Ulas Nanda is in fourth, not very far behind the Vlade Kumar. In fact, uh, only a quarter of a second. So it's a very tight one, two, three at the moment with the half a second separating all three. Anything can happen. The slightest of mistakes can cost you the race. And now it's Alvin Xavier who makes his move, comes in on the inside on the straight and takes the race lead. It's Alvin Xavier now who leads and uh, Sudhir Sudhakur has dropped down to second. Navneet Kumar still in the mix but it is uh, Alvin Xavier who waited, waited, waited for seven laps to make his move and the moment he got the slightest of the window to make that move. He's done that and he's now your race leader. They, they, they for you. Now it's Sudhir Sudhakar who's made his move and taken the lead away. Sudhir Sudhakar, you beauty, just waited for that moment, got it on the inside and he's now your race leader with Alvin Xavier dropping down to second. That's the end of the race for Navneet Kumar trying a bit too hard on that corner. As he was trying to make that overtake on the move, Navneet Kumar has lost his position. 
there. And now as one. we speak, it's Alwyn who's taken the lead away from Sudhir Sudhakar. This is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant racing. And we're on to the last lap, last corner. Who's going to make it? It's a photo finish. It's a photo finish. It's Alwyn Xavier who's taken the win by 0 0.009 seconds. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's the photo finish we are talking about. Nine thousands of a second. Nine thousands of a second. It's just a half a wheel rim. No, it's just a wheel rim ahead. Race 6 of the Continental GT Cup had delivered and delivered once again in spades. Hair raising down to the wire racing action only concluded by the jubilation of the victorious. It was this man, competition number two, Alvin Xavier, that takes the win for the final race of the Royal Enfield Continental GT Cup. After I all this hard work, it paid off. First uh, eight, seven laps, I was staying behind Sudhir. Competing with Alvin, you were like, okay, he will make a move, another lap, another lap, I will make a move. Uh, it was amazing. Navaneed also tried to me out in the same corner, but he touched my rear tire and crashed. Unfortunately for him. But it was a photo finish in the left. In the end, so even I and Sudhir didn't know who won the race. We were looking at each other. You won? You won? Number 15, Surya PM takes the win for the amateur class in the last race of round two. But I'm really happy. All of my boys finish on the podium. Alvin, me, uh, Sudhir, Suryana. I'm really happy. With Anish Shetty deciding to sit out of the race, the championship points are piling up for Alvin and Surya in the amateur category. This is Royal Enfield Continental GD Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, no mistakes will be forgiven in the upcoming Race 7. Are you ready for action? Ready for action.